today we're going to be trying out some high drive energy drink. Let's taste this. Uh, we have our high drive energy water here, um, blue raspberry. It's also flavored with other natural flavors, so they say. Uh, it's only got 30 calories. It's loaded with caffeine, apparently. Extra power formula. Basically, what we have here is uh, it's energy done better according to uh, High Drive. Uh, you want to get the refreshing flavor you love and the energy boost that you need with only those 30 calories. Now, caffeine per eight ounce serving, um, they have a little chart in the back here that shows you. Um, caffeinated soft drink is uh, 20 to 35 milligrams of caffeine. The leading energy drink has 80. High Drive Energy Water Extra Power has 100 milligrams of caffeine. They're not screwing around. And your, uh, your normal coffee house coffee has 150 to 165 milligrams. So yeah, High Drive's pretty much uh, chasing their tails on that one. Apparently, Extra Power Formula has 195 milligrams of caffeine in it. So it says 200% your uh, daily value of vitamin B3, B5, B6, B12, and 25 milligrams of Yerba Mate leaf extract. Because if I'm drinking anything, it has to have Yerba Mate leaf extract in it or else pff, hit the bricks. I don't want any of this. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, it smells like blue raspberry. Not overpowering. Kind of smells, it smells like a lot like a blue raspberry uh, Jolly Rancher. So that's intriguing. And ooh, Jolly Rancher should really start throwing some caffeine into their uh, product. Yep, just smells like, uh, it just smells like blue raspberry juice. It's uh, pretty good. Uh, I enjoy blue raspberry. So let's see what happens here. That is horrendously disappointing. It smells so much better than it tastes. It's just like water with food coloring in it. Basically, when you when you taste it, oh, I'm gonna try that again because the smell. It smells so good, but the the flavor is just not really there. No, it's 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 just like water with a hint of blue raspberry. Or maybe I read this entire label wrong, and I'm supposed to be putting this into my windshield washer reservoir. I'm not sure. Either way, I'm sure it would work. If I get if I get a boost of energy and caffeine and I'm through the roof and all awake, I'd recommend this, but um, just on flavor alone, I'd have to say that you can do a lot better than this. Unless you, you just might as well just drink water right out of your tap and uh, throw a blue raspberry in it. So I'd have to say no on the high drive energy water. It's just water. It's just water that's been dyed blue and uh, it smells good, but tastes just, it just isn't there. And I paid a dollar sixty nine for this. I would rather just go pay the two and change for my extra large hot coffee, which has more caffeine in it than this. It's just not. It's not. It's just water. You're just you're just paying a dollar sixty nine for a bottle of water, and I don't think anyone should pay for water. Get a get a filter. Put it on your faucet. Seriously, people, you don't have to be highfalutin. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching this episode of Let's Taste This. I do not recommend this. Don't bother getting it. Just drink your tap water. Uh, feel free to go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any episodes because you know you don't want to. If you're watching this, you don't want to miss any. You know it. And if there's any suggestions that you'd like to make for anything that we should taste here, feel free to go ahead and leave those suggestions in the comment section. Have a good one.